file management software, tagging software, media software. Like no one wants to talk about this stuff because it's boring. If you are a editor or a VFX artist or anyone who's doing post in any type of workflow, or even if you just want better file management, you might as well save uh, other people time since I've went through the tedious process of looking at all of these <laughs> and customizing them and figuring them out and tell you which ones I recommend based off of my findings, price points, and overall uh, what the programs are actually capable of. Let's make the boring not boring. So I have a few different criteria for if something is good enough to use. One, it has to be able to play back stuff easily, preferably inside of the program to keep you from having to open and reopen your player. Two, tagging. It has to be able to tag your files. That's the whole point of this, to be able to easily find your assets and your media. Three, a wide adoption of many different file formats. If it can view FBX files, OBJ files, MP4 files, MOV files, all of that stuff is a win. So hopefully most of these can do that. We're gonna start with files because files, this is what it's called. It's literally called files. It's really easy, it's free. It's even in the Microsoft store. And it looks just like Microsoft Explorer Windows. What you would expect, which is kind of nice because if you're used to that environment, you don't want to deviate from that environment very much. There you go. This one's perfect for you. And this is higher up on the recommendation list because it's free and it has two things. Playback. If I go over to this, it just can play the files right in here, right in the browser. I go to this one, hit play. Look at that. Love that feature. Most of them have that. The one about this one that I don't like is you have to keep coming over here and hitting play. Go to the next one, you have to hit play. And you can't use spacebar. See, hit spacebar, nothing happens. Hate that. There's a couple other ones in here that do that. We'll talk about it, but I don't like that. But that's a small caveat for something that's free. And it has the one other thing that's important for all filmmakers, tagging. You want to be able to tag your stuff. So in here, you can see that there's these yellow dots on files. That allows me to just go and, and search that. So like down here, it has this tag section and I can go to exports, boop. And it'll show me all of these that I've tagged with the exports tag. So it's really easy to find. So if I'm in this folder and I wanna look for exports, I have to, I found this out. At first I thought I couldn't search it, but I have to hit tag colon uh, and then exports, boom. There they all are, they all pop up. So if you have assets that are like fire assets, water assets, glass assets, and you just wanna search glass assets, boom. There they are. Saying assets that many times is really weird. Doesn't feel like a word anymore. So those other ones were MP4s. So they're really easy to play. Most software can play MP4s, but look at these MOVs. If I try to play it. Anyway, uh, that's the new Grimace Shake. I hope Ignore you guys the Grimace Shake well, thing. I had to act one. in something for my friend. <laughs> Just, it God. is what it is. God. But see, look, like it doesn't shit. play oh. the file. It is blank. It's just playing audio. So if you're working with a lot of MOVs, this isn't the one for you. MP4 files, check. Viewer inside of the interface, check. MOV files, unfortunately, no. EXR files, no. FBX files, no. So all those other things are no, but it is easy to use. It does still look like the Windows interface, which is nice. And it can tag very well. For all of those reasons, I think this is high on the list of something that you should consider if you just want something that can tag to find things easily and play some basic MP4 types of files and PNGs and JPEGs and things like that. If you need something that has FBX, EXR, OBJ support, maybe not, but still good for just regular file management. So let's move on to the next one, Anchor Point. Now, I'm sorry to say, but unless you're paying a subscription, it's pretty much worthless which is kind of a shame. It really shouldn't be worthless, which has the possibility of being the best one on this entire list. If you are not paying a subscription fee, already bad as a subscription fee, which there's a lot of features that this application has that are deserving of being behind a subscription fee. That's fine. But on the free plan, they completely get rid of attributes and tagging. Like if I try to go to attributes, it says you cannot add an attribute, which is how you tag stuff. So this became an over glorified movie player, essentially. It can't do anything. Before what you could do is you could uh, tag all your stuff, easily find it, great. 
It even had a cool feature where if you have an image sequence like an EXR, a DPX sequence, or PNG, you can stack it like directly in here. So I can go like this and I can just stack it up. Boom. Stacks your files. Really nice. Then it had a really handy feature where you could right click and you could convert it to an MP4 just right there in the interface. So if you're doing dailies or you're showing people exports, you could just knock out an MP4 right there. Super useful. I'll show you some other ways to do that with other stuff where you don't even really need to use this and you can make it just as easy with directory opus, which is another thing on the list. I do want to mention though, if you are on the paid version, it does have a really cool feature where you can create workspaces. So if you have a file format that you like for all projects, you can just save that in here and it will remember it. So anytime you make a new project, it'll just instantly create the folder structure that you want for that project, which is super cool but it's useless without tagging. So it's not even a software at this point. Like I said, you can just play movie files in it. I guess I'll show you that real quick. I go to one of these, I just hit space on it and it plays it. Boom, you hit space on it, plays it. It's really fast. And, and it does have the benefit that if I go back into this footage folder and I go to an MOV, plays MOVs, anyway, no problem. Uh, that's the no problem. Just needs to add tagging back. Otherwise it's useless. <laughs> I'm sorry guys at anchor point, but you should allow free plan people to tag. Otherwise, no one's, no one would use it. You can't do anything with it. <laughs> so with all the negative stuff aside, what can Anchor Point do though on the checklist? It can play MP4s. It can play MOVs. It can play all sorts of different movie files. Check. Tagging. Uncheck. But it can view FBX files, EXR files, and pretty much anything else that you can think of. But for now, this gets last place because if you're on the free plan, you can't even tag anything. So it becomes useless. Next up, we have something called One Commander. This is more in line as a file management software. So it can do all sorts of things other than just media related stuff. It also has a tagging feature where you can tag by color, but this is the drawback of One Commander. The tags are not very good because I can't really, as far as I'm aware, I've looked, I can't really use that. It's good to glance at a file and see where things are, where if that's what you want, that's great. But I can't search for that. I can't tag it by by name, which is kind of a bummer. Check if it can even play MOVs, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, and that's the it can, and it can play MOVs. On the checklist, what can one commander do? Playback, it's got it. You can play it back. It can play back MOV files as well it can do a lot of different video formats. Tagging, that's where it loses. Can't really tag things very well. Can't view EXRs, can't view FBX files. So it's not good for that stuff either. So this one is also pretty low on the list, unfortunately. Next up, XY Plorer. Now this one is actually pretty sick and I'll show you why. So not only is it a great file management software, just like something like Directory Opus, if you're familiar with it, it also has a fantastic label and tagging system. It's amazing. It only has one thing that I don't like about it, and maybe there's a way to fix it. If I can find a way to fix it, this jumps up to top of the list, and I'll show you why. If I go into exports, boom, I can tag all of my files green. Like if these are all exports, you can see them clear as day, super easy. They have this label system and tagging system, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of separate things out a bit. And if I go down here into the search bar, I can easily search for those by just typing in exports and then find now. Boom, there's all my exports. Super easy, tagging, win. Okay, now let's talk about playback. If I click on one of these, boom, just like that. It's playing back right there, right next to it. Super easy, not a problem at all. Love it. The only thing that holds this one back is that they don't really have support for MOV files. So if I go back and I go into the footage and I look at these heavier MOV files that have a little bit of weight to them, you know, I try to play it back. Anyway, uh, that's the new nothing. And it cuts off and there's just audio and then the audio cuts off and it pauses, it can't handle it. And the video is just not there. So for different kind of footage formats, playback, uh, it's kind of a loss, which is unfortunate because it can do such good tagging work. Although it can't view FBX files or EXR files or anything like that. So that is unfortunately a loss. But if they could fix that MOV thing or if I could figure out a way to fix it, it would be higher on the list.
Okay, so this next one is pretty cool. It's called tag spaces. Now this one functions a little differently than a lot of the other ones on the list because this one isn't a file management software like directory opus, xyplorer, or files, or anything like that. It is more for just media and tagging related reasons. So you can like designate a folder and then it's like an intermediary thing where it kind of knows where this stuff is and helps you tag everything. So for tagging, it's the best one of them all. But for everything else, it kind of struggles a bit. So right here, I've got that same folder with all my exports. As you can see, it has these beautiful export tags that you can see clear as day. And as you can see, it plays MP4 files directly in the window. It's a dream come true. This thing can do so much and it looks so good. And they have a free plan, which is great. But here are some of the issues. One, some of those MOVs. Anyway, uh, that's the new Grimace Shake. That. I hope you guys are it doing well and I'll see you playing the, the file. All right. But it's dark. It's not there. Once again, this thing does not work with MOVs. And it's a problem because so many of these software, it's a licensing issue. Although there are some on this list that can play them. So, and they're free. So I'm a little confused on how that works. But uh, as you can see, it cannot play those. So if we're going down the checklist, when it comes to playback, eh, can't play certain kinds of files, unfortunately. Uh, tagging, absolute win, 110%. Tagging is amazing in this software. And the different file formats, eh, it's kind of a fail. Can't do EXRs, can't play FBX, can't really do any of those things. So kind of loses there, but it is, but it does have a free option, which is nice. And so far, the only real paid options right now are XYPlorer and Anchor Point. Anchor Point's a subscription though. XYPlorer, on the other hand, you pay for once and it can do a lot of stuff. Something about tag spaces that I don't like. So even though it's really beautiful and the tagging is really nice, another thing that's a drawback to it is the way that it saves tag information. So, it either has to rename a file, which is a no. Not, I don't want you renaming files. I need to know where they are and what they're called. Or it uses this other method, which I'll show you what it is. So it has two different methods. So if you want to do tagging, you have this rename file option, which please don't do that. Do not rename my files. It adds, it adds the name of the tag in brackets into your file. Now, the reason they do this is so that your tags will work across different platforms and, and new computers and like the software will recognize the tag and still work with it, which in theory is amazing, but I don't really want to keep renaming my files. So they have this other option called sidecar file. The annoying part about this is it creates these .ts files everywhere, which I also don't like. It's not the biggest deal. If you don't care about having them, you can kind of hide them. That's fine. But I don't really want more of these files kind of popping up everywhere and I can't remember what the heck they're for. And so that to me, that's a big drawback to tag spaces. Tag spaces, super unique, super cool, but it's got two things down on the checklist, except tagging is great. So if you're just interested in that, then maybe that's for you. All right, so this one, I didn't think was gonna actually be well for media related stuff in this directory opus. Now, a lot of people might be familiar with this one as a file management system. It's way, way better than Windows Explorer but I didn't quite know how it was gonna do with media because a lot of the time, it's just boring looking file structures that people show everywhere. I wanted to see what you could do with it for media and it did not disappoint. I was very surprised. As you can see in here, I found a way to tag things similar to XYplorer, which is great because XYplorer, like I said, was gonna be one of the top, except that it couldn't play MOVs for some reason. Well, happy to say directory opus can easily play MOVs, which is fantastic. So if I go here, boom. Anyway, plays uh, that's just fine. Shake. I hope you go here, plays just fine. So it can play MOVs. The only thing I hate about this is similar to the file one in the beginning, files. Uh, I can't just hit spacebar to make it play. And I can't even use my media keys either, which is annoying, but I think there's a way around that. Directory Opus lets you customize a lot of stuff and I'm, I'm pretty sure I can find a way to make that work for me and there's another thing I want to talk about too which is scripting so something I really missed from the paid version of the subscription on anchor point was converting an image sequence to mp4 now I'm still in the middle of figuring out how to do that but there definitely is a way to do it with Python or with 
a script that I can just right click a folder and then convert everything in there to an MP4. So I can get that kind of customization back. Oh, also just to show that tagging works, it took me a while because originally I went up here to this little search bar and I was like, okay, does the tagging work? Exports. And then it would, wouldn't find anything. Hmm. So it's not quite intuitive. So you don't actually use this up here to do that, which is a little annoying. But what you can do is hit control F and bring up this menu. You can also just use a button. I created this button called find files up here. I click it. And if I go down here, I can set up that export so I can click plus right here, create a label, and then I can just use that forever. So I have it right here. So if I just search for exports right here, see filter exports, find, boom, there they all are, finds them really easily. It's a little bit annoying that it's kind of this drawn out process, but I found a way to just set labels really easily by just clicking this button so I can make all these whatever label I want. And then I can just easily find files by just clicking on this. I already have exports set up, so I just hit find and then it finds them. So it actually becomes very easy once you set it up. But of course you have to have that initial setup. So far, tagging is great. Playback is 100%. We can playback files very easily, MOV, MP4, whatever we want. The only thing it cannot do is different file formats. So if I wanna view FBX files or OBJ files or things like that. It's not as good at that. Let's move on to the next one, which is the most interesting out of all of them. All right, so this software is called Eagle. Eagle is kind of interesting because once again, kind of like tag spaces, it's this intermediary program. It's not really a file management software that replaces Windows Explorer. It's this intermediate program where you drop files from all over the different places from your computer into this program and it categorizes it for you to easily find it. So if you have an asset folder with a bunch of fire stuff, water stuff, glass stuff, you just drop it all in here and start tagging it. So for instance, I've made this current projects folder just to keep things similar to the rest of them where I have all my exports. And what I can do is click on them and I've added tags. So I can make a tag and call this exports. Make a tag, call it exports. And I can just tag all of these with an exports tag. So if I need to find them, I can just search that tag and then just put exports and there they are. But let's put that in more practice with assets. So I've dropped a whole bunch of assets in here. As you can see, and this is the cool part, this is the one program out of all of them that can view weird file formats. So if I wanna view this DAE file, I can. That's really cool. If I want to view this FBX file, it takes a little bit, give it a little second, but I can. I can view it. Super sick, right? It doesn't do well with all of them. For instance, if uh, there, there were some different types of 3D files that didn't work, like MA files or Maya files or 3DS Max files or Cinema 4D files, none of those work. But just your bare bones OBJ, DAE, FBX files work. So when it comes to file formats, this one gets a win. And it's like the only one on the list that does. <laughs> when it comes to tagging, this one also gets a win because right here I have a bunch of MOVs, which as you can see, you can't view them. We'll get into that. So like for playback, it's a lose, unfortunately. Can't have it all, man. It sucks. I wish, I wish we could. Unless someone knows of a software out there that has it all and is free or one-time payment, it's kind of a bummer. But as you can see, MOVs don't work. So that's a bummer. But these are all shockwaves, so I put them under smoke. So if I type in smoke, boom, there they all are. Okay, well, what if I want uh, these, these shockwaves? Sorry, I have atmospheres under smoke. So now let's say I want to view these shockwaves. Well, I have a tag for shockwave. There they all are. So for tagging, it's amazing. For file formats, it's a win. For playback, it's a major loss because it can't view different kinds of file formats for videos. So what does this mean at the end of the day? What should you use? Personally, I think it's a mix of like two different software. If you have a little bit of money to spend and you just want one time payment fee, I think that the best things to use are directory opus for pretty much all of your different kinds of movie files 
and for everything else. You can even do automatic backups to different drives. It's it's not just for media. It's a full thing. So if you have the money, it is pretty expensive though. Find it on a sale. Directory Opus is great for that. And then I would pair that with Eagle for all of my assets, all of my 3D assets and just weird files that other software aren't going to find or understand. Eagle also costs money, but it's 30 bucks and then it's yours forever. So both of those software in tandem is a powerhouse duo. Now let's say you wanna do things for free. What would I recommend? Honestly, I would go with just files because even though it seems more bare bones on the surface, it's got the main features you need. It's got quick playback and tagging. Yeah, it can't handle all file formats, but it's simple. And, and so many of the other paid ones also can't handle MOV. So this one has all of the benefits of all those paid ones, but you're not spending anything. And the tagging is better than a lot of the paid options. It's super easy to search things by tag, and they look really good too. You can color code them, they look nice, you can even find all your tags down here. It works, and has everything you need as a filmmaker or as someone in post-production to find your stuff, organize it, and play it, which is great. Also, I need to note that every single one of these still allows you to double click it and open it in whatever player you want. But I personally just like having a player that's kind of in there and just works. Uh, I, I guess at the end, I do want to note here, Anchor Point, if for some reason you ever see this or care, just add tagging back onto the free plan because I'm going to be honest, if Anchor Point had tagging in it, it would be number one, hands down, out of all of these. The only thing that would come close is Directory Opus because at least with directory opus, I can kind of script and make my own stuff in there. But for someone who just wants media management, please, I beg of you, just add tagging for the free plan. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a paperweight. I'm probably the only one in the world that cares this much about file management. <laughs> no, that's not true, which is why I'm making this video. So now is about that time where I ask you to please subscribe. I plan on doing a lot more stuff like this. Also, do you like Blender? Do you like 3D? Do you like visual effects? Do you like films? All that stuff? Well then, I guess you better subscribe because uh, I'm gonna upload a lot of cool little niche videos like this helping filmmakers create the best workflow environment that they possibly can and to make cool stuff. So make cool stuff with me. Let's go. Subscribe. What are you waiting for? Hurry up.